family to this. Oh, you did you cross? Yeah. yeah. Cross beat. Cross beat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Here? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ! Such, such. B is a vector field. Magnet creates what? Magnetic field. Creates magnetic field. Okay, so tell me the equation. Oh, me. Um, you know, I over two pi r but it should be a vector so uh sure let's see mu not i yeah that's that's I right cross dl yeah what is mu not what is mu not oh i don't remember four pi times 10 raised to negative seven okay uh what is the force uh cross b uh one is the velocity one is the magnetic field mm -hmm. and you want the other one also or no? other one would be is, the current um, length magnetic field sine theta yeah Hey, do we need this for the reasons today? No, we don't. We are not doing reasons today. No. <clears throat> okay, so here is the right hand rule. Okay, all right. But before we go jump into the math, can you tell me that why this is not a magnet um, and why this is a magnet? This marker is not a magnet because it cannot create a magnetic field. Because if I bring a member of the Almico family close to it, you see it does not respond, right? It does not attract or repel. But if I bring a member of the Almico family to this, oh, you did magnet, it responds very aggressively. So let's see if I put it here, no response. Put it here, no response. Here. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. There we go. Okay, that's why I didn't fly. Yeah. It's e even pretty difficult to pull uh, that apart, and it's impossible to pull these two magnets apart. You want to also like a deeper explanation, like 10 seconds? Sure. Okay. Um, Sibono, do you know why uh, this is not a magnet, but this is a magnet? Why? Okay, well, if you zoom in to anything, what is everything made of? Uh, particles? Atoms, that's right. And atoms are like tiny magnets. Every atom has a quantum spin. It can be spin up or spin down. And if all the atoms in an object, if their spins are opposite, then the total spin becomes zero. So it doesn't have a net magnetic field. But this object, like this Neodymium magnet, it's made out of an element where the total spin is not zero for all the atoms. So that's why you see it's a magnet. Take off and explain that. Okay, explain this exactly. As you can see, uh, this this one pointing directly up, why? this is right under where I'm holding no, the no, magnet. No, explain why they are standing up. This is a magnetic field represented in three dimensions. Good. So what is the direction of the magnetic field? Oh, this one is directly up. This one is a little bit to the right. This one so is can you do so. a magnetic field that is, um, that is this, this. What? Well, that will be into the, into the pace. Okay. I then I think they will just lay down. No, yeah, they'll lay down because they can't yeah. go through. So, uh, the, can you do then this one? Out of the page? Well, that's what we're doing right now. Okay. You can't even separate those. So, um, that's what I wanted to do. Can you write that? That I'm going to show you the magnetic field and outward direction. If we condense okay. them a bit more, it's like a living. They feel like hairs. Quantum mechanics, quantization. My God! He's lying. My yeah. God! Why do they have yeah. to condense into hairs? Let's talk about the magnetic field, right? So, hands are stared. Eighteen twenty. What did you discover? A current carrying wire. A current carrying wire, let's say the wire mm -hmm. carries the current to the north, let's say how much the wire carries, um, let's say 20 amps, right? A current carrying wire, right, creates magnetic field around the wire. Uh, that's what he discovered. So what are we going to try to find? We're going to try to find the magnetic field X distance away from what? The wire. From the wire and let's say uh can you give me the distance let's say 10 centimeters all right this is like a cylinder if you have a wire okay can you uh, can you do the right hand rule all right just let's practice right hand rule take this take that can you hold the pen uh hold the pencil at the direction of the current. wire current at the direction of the current can you can you place your uh thumb at the direction of the current you do you're doing it can you curl your finger as if you are trying to hold the wire 
All right, let's see. Isaac, can you tell me the magnetic field at location X? So, oh, okay. I'm going to tell you two things. Dot means what? Out of. Oh, oh, wait. Out? Yeah, it's into the board. Out of board. And cross means? Into. It's into, into the board. Now, tell me at location X, what is the direction of the magnetic it's field? It's into the board. Okay is into the board yes it goes you tell me the direction of the magnetic field uh over here also into the board no out the board oh no i thought you said here oh oh here are you alone um... okay all right um so raf can you come over here find the magnetic field the magnetic field at this location is given by the formula mu naught i over two pi r Okay, so mu naught four pi ten raised to negative seven. Seven. Twenty. Twenty. Yes. And two pi. Two pi. Point one. Point one. Okay. Two pi goes to four pi twice. Two pi goes to four pi twice. Okay. Uh, point one goes to twenty. Uh, so you write two hundred. Two hundred. So four hundred times ten four, to the minus four seven. times ten raised to minus five. Minus five. And this is stronger is? than the magnetic field of the earth. Is this wait, Tesla? Tesla? Right. Okay. This is uh, twice. No, this is like four times stronger than the magnetic field of the earth. Okay. Yeah. Why do we have to divide by two pi r? Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can you put a cylinder there on the wire? So, okay. Yes. Okay. Does it look like a cylinder? And can you put an put an arrow like like this? Uh, it it goes that direction. So oh, into the board. Is that what? No. You mean? It's clockwise or counterclockwise. Oh, uh, the magnetic field. Yeah, it goes inside and then yeah. It's counterclockwise. It's like this. Yeah. All right. So it's a cylinder, right? There is a cylinder.